Low income housing can make a ton of money. And if you do it in the right neighborhoods like this one, it is dirt cheap. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Hey folks, welcome to another episode of the MLS Search and Analysis Show here on Holton Wise TV. I'm your host, James Wise. This is the show where I work with investors like you one-on-one, -on -one, help you start, build, grow your real estate portfolios. The man of the hour, man I'm working with today, a uh, guy by the name of Jason. Jason, you're a truck driver from Oregon. As I've told you previously, dude, I come from a long line of truck drivers. My dad uh, is a truck driver. My grandpa was a truck driver, right? Uh, so I love that you're a truck driver, blue-collar guy, man. I'm a blue-collar guy as well. And it's a nice little blue-collar property, bro. Uh, this is actually just like the last property I showed you, right? I got these two. They're very close to each other. Same owner, right? Same guy has owned this as that last one. He's owned them since 1996. Picked them up for both like 30 34K, right? I want to lowball him, dude. This The numbers on this is pretty much just like the last one, dude. 1957 West 58th Cleveland floor for 102. Been on the market four days. He wants 69.9 for this one. Same scenario with this one as the last one, dude. He's got a 12-year tenant in there, and it's just like a low income property the last one that tenant was paying 570 this one he's got him in there at 500 same situation though right the market rent on this to section 8 tenants dude 900 right 900 comes in the numbers are going to pencil out onto this one to an average noi of 51 30 91 for the year as far as price let's do the same thing bro i want to try to lowball him 69.9 i don't think it's going to happen i think we try to offer him 40 on the other one 40 on this one uh, if you got to tend it up to market rent, you're looking at a 36% return on your investment on this one, right? Same situation, though, with the last one, bro. I don't think it's reasonable uh, for you to be able to get the tenant up from 500 to 900, like within like a 12 month period, right? I think you got to go 50, 50, 50, 50 every single year, slowly work them up, or you're going to create an artificial turnover. If they do turn over, though, that's okay. We'll just put another 10, 15K into the investment, and then we'll get you that Section 8 tenant, right? So you're going to get to market rent one way or the other, whether it's with this tenant slowly or by removing this tenant, doing a rehab, and then getting that Section 8 tenant in there, which is why I think it's imperative that we lowball the crap out of them. You can't pay 70, right? Do I think there's a lot of upside on this deal? Yes, because it's in the Metro Health area. The billion-dollar uh, investment, right, that's going to do nothing but help this neighborhood, in my opinion. But right now, we have to face the facts that it's still a high-risk neighborhood. We still need to go Section 8 on our unproven tenants. Now, this tenant, just like the other one at the other property, it's a proven tenant, dude. They've been paying on time for 12 years, right? Uh, so that's the thing. When you're in high-risk neighborhoods, that's why I go Section 8, right, to guarantee the rental income. But essentially, you have yourself this tenant and the other tenant. Dude, you got two tenants that are basically guaranteed uh, to have those payments in. They, nothing better than 12 years of history, right? Hey lenders, are you looking to be part of our referral program? If so, send us an email at sales at holtonwise.com. Uh, however, both tenants are paying really low rent, which is why I want you to slowly increase it. And again, we have to take into account all the risk factors with uh, just the neighborhood and the low values of the properties right now because they're still degrade. Uh, but I think that's kind of going to help us lowballing these guys because I think other investors, they're probably going to be turned off by this one and the other one just because this, this, this owner has just chosen to keep these people's rent so artificially low, right? You might get a lot of investors who don't really understand that there really is a $900 house right here, right? It doesn't look like nothing special, but dude, you know, that's the deal, right? It's a, it's a single family home. Section A vouchers, man, those things are paying a ton of money. So I thought both of these would be good properties to target for you. They're both pretty much the same. And I, I, I say we try to target them both and see if we can't take those down, brother. If uh, these were the type of single family homes you were uh, thinking make sense for you, let me know. Let's make the move. If not, on your next set of videos, if you'd like me to kind of switch gears and go towards something a little different, uh, just give me that feedback. Let me know. But here's the thing. 
Uh, with both these scenarios, Jason, what I need you to understand is we're trying to offer 30K less than what the seller currently wants. Seller put the property on the market four days ago. So I don't think the seller is going to be like, yeah, let's do that deal tomorrow. I, I, I think what this is going to be is I think he's going to come to us later, okay? So I think we're going to toss both offers out there. Think of them like two fishing rods, dog. They're just the fucking the bait, whatever. It's just chilling off your boat. It's in the fucking water. We're waiting for the fish, okay? 34 days on the market, 64 days on the market, 124 days on the market at that time. I think our $40,000 offers start to look more appealing to that particular seller than they do today because I think all that time on the market is going to allow this seller to get beat down and understand that, hey, there's not a lot of investors jumping on $500 rentals. Uh, so I think these are two to target, and we may want to also do some other videos in the interim, keep things moving forward, because if this guy does say yes, I think it's going to be a little bit ways down the road. So let me know your thoughts on that and just my plan of attack for you in general, and let me know what you want to do, brother. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.